This is a bottle opener that I designed and manufactured on my machine here in the shop. Let me tell you all about it. So, I got this machine in April. And I was pretty new to CNC machining. I'd been screwing around with these manual machines for a while, and it seemed like kind of an overwhelming prospect to get a CNC machine in the shop. And so I figured I was taking a brief hiatus from my day job. I'd play around with this for a while. I would learn a lot of hands-on CNC skills, and then I would reapply to some other jobs in the area, and I would be able to show all this stuff that I've been doing for my time away, you know, like actually having made parts, and I figured that would really help me get better jobs working for other people. And so uh, I figured in the first couple months I had the machine, I'd just do a lot of like developmental projects, not trying to make money, not trying to make batches of stuff, just like how can I learn as much as I can in like a couple months before I run out of money and need a job again. Well, pretty quickly I found out that actually I had good ideas for parts, things were coming out good, and so I started making and selling stuff, and so far, fingers crossed, uh, things have been going all right. I, I haven't bottomed out, and uh, I don't have like kids to support, so I'm just gonna keep doing this until, until the bottom falls out, which at this point, Things are looking good. So, uh, one of those projects that I decided I was going to do earlier on was a bottle opener. And it was a side project. I never planned on, you know, it's a tchotchke. It's just a little knickknack, right? I, I want to make tools and stuff for people. And so, this isn't exactly what I'm trying to do, but I wanted, uh, I mean, who doesn't want a cool bottle opener? And it was a good project for me to, like, get familiar with things. The tolerance is this you know, this needs to hold or not anything special. It's easy to make it, and if you kind of screw up, as long as it looks good and it opens a bottle, you're golden, right? And so, uh, yeah, so I bought the material to make a run of these, and it was like 100 bucks for the material or something, and I set it up and I made them. And it was, it was cool because it was a project where I could sort of challenge myself to think not only like, a, like an engineer or something, like a designer of a functional item, but this is like an aesthetic item, and it's something that you hold in your hand so it's got a feel consideration like how does it feel and uh, you know the feel of the item and then the, the action of using it how does it look to look at it you know like uh, the the chamfers are pretty subtle it's got kind of square edges if you look at like you know Apple's iPhones the the I think the iPhone 4 and 5 have more of this sort of like flat edges and rounded corners and a slight chamfer and it's it's sort of a similar blocky aesthetic before they went to a smooth one you know but like um, I got to play industrial designer with this project where I'm thinking a little bit more about the aesthetics and stuff. It was, it was a really fun project for me and pretty much the first iteration of this turned out awesome. It, the mechanics of it work really well. You know, I just looked on Google image search at all different kinds of bottle openers and got ideas about things and then um, threw it together. It's kind of, uh, people say that it reminds them of like brass knuckles or something because the grip is sort of like, you know, reminiscent of like uh, brass knuckles or something. It just, I don't know, it just feels good. I'm, I'm really proud of it. It's a simple design and they're, uh, they're easy enough for me to manufacture. So like these aren't what I make and sell for a living, but I will continue to produce them so I can keep them in stock so that um, for, the idea is really at this point, the reason I'm going to keep making them is for folks who appreciate what I'm doing and they like following along on Instagram or YouTube or whatever and they think it's cool but like they don't have the money or the need to buy these very specific and kind of expensive bike frame building tools but they could buy a bottle opener or they could buy a hat, right? And uh, those are like just sort of catch-all ways that like my friends and family and, and other machinists and people who like have no use for a very specific frame building tool can still sort of like show their support and, and rep the brand and stuff. And so um, in addition to it, like sort of telling the story and uh, talking about how I thought it was a cool learning experience for me, I just wanted to say if you appreciate the YouTube videos or if you follow along on Instagram and you like that stuff, please consider going to my web store and buying one of these, uh, like a hat or a bottle opener or something. It's a really cool way to show that you appreciate what I'm doing and, uh, and support it and they're both like 20 bucks, so they're pretty affordable. And uh, you can crack a beer open for somebody while you're wearing a stylish and yet warm hat um, yeah, so anyway, thanks for watching.